Vâng. Hoặc sự. Hai. Tay vô. Morning. Morning. Step one, put your right eyes for my stripe. I say my stripes because that's your stripe, your black stripe. Put it on your left. So it's on your left. Yep, cool. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my uh, part that goes underneath of my V lapel, right here, boom. Go as tight as you can. You see that? I feel as tight as I can. I get really tight. So you can see, like, literally tight. I've just done this since, I, since 1986. I've been doing the exact same thing. I got it down to an art, all right? And then what I'll do is I'll take the belt and I'll put it halfway through, pin it right there. Yep. And okay. My hand, while I'm still holding this in my thumb, I'm doing super slow. I don't know if you're yep, slow. Sorry. No, it's good, it's perfect. So hold on my thumb to keep it there. Now I'll start pulling it tight, and that's what keeps it tight. Okay. Higher on your hips. Yeah. And I'll pull it around one time. And I'll go here, and I want it almost like even. I don't have to make it perfect even, but yeah, so I'll go pop, pop. I'll make sure it's tight. And I go left hand over the top. Down. And on my right, the stripes go over through both. Go again. Put your left hand down like this. Left hand flat. Jump right on your on your belly button. Yeah. And now put your right stripes, your right belt, your right hand over the top of both. Got yeah. It. And then you pull that right there through. Boom. Okay. Right. Now the, this is our stripes go over the top again. Stripes go over the top. Put your right hand through, grab your stripes, yeah. pull, and now literally as, as tight as you can. Push, 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 push. Nah, that's not good. <laughs> so whenever you see that Kung Fu master come in and they come in, they go like this. Ha! What they're doing is they're coming, they're simulating that. Oh. Right? They're simulating this. That right there. Does that make sense? Got it. So when you see guys come in and they're like, you're like, what is, what is that motion? Well, like this, some of the motions that you do, like, what is that? Like, what do they mean? Does that make sense? When you ever see somebody come in, they're like, ha! That's what they're doing. They're simulating this. Come in, going, making sure I feel the uniform is ready. Boom! All right, what's this called? A kimono. All right, cool. Yep. From a traditional burial wear that the samurai used to wear underneath their armor to represent they're ready to die in battle at any time. That's what this represents. Jesus. So when you put this on, that's that mentality. It's like, cool. I'm going into that mindset uh, that I'm ready to die in battle. I'm putting my gi on. I'm going after it. No rope, no rope, hey, just no rope. Yeah, cool. All right, does that make sense? Yes. So that's what we're working on. Boom, okay. the gi, cool. All right, so now we've got our gi on, and now why do we wear this? Cool. Why do we wear this? I do not know. All right, cool. A lot of different reasons, but that tradition is, one, it creates a big barrier, a perfect barrier between my skin and your skin, which when you've done grappling for a long time, which I just went to a grappling tournament, saw a ringworm here, ringworm there, ringworm there. When you have a wrestling program, one kid gets it, Cool. They hide it, whatever. Two kids get it. Boom, boom, boom. That's why I like the gi, okay? Now, yeah. really, it's tradition because we have a uniform because we use it. Because we're getting used to it. Come here. In a self-defense situation, I have cross collar. You're going to grab. I have sleeves to grab. If we get in here and I grab here and I grab here and I pull, oh, I can do lots of stuff yeah. with the gi. The gi becomes your gi. Now becomes my weapon. Yeah. That makes sense. My yeah. gi. Now it becomes my weapon. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So understanding how to use a weapon that, that look, look, look right there at traps. Look at traps. How many traps, how many weapons is for me as, as, as a practitioner of jiu-jitsu, how many weapons do I see on traps? Hey. Ah, yeah. I see his pants. I see his shorts on this side. I see his, I see his right there. A lot of stuff that if he doesn't know how to use it, even hockey players, what do they do? They pull that, that shirt right over the top. If you'll see a street fighter, a street fighter, you see, what are the first thing a street fighter does? A lot of people don't think about this. When you see two people get in a street fight, what's one of the first things they do? Take their shirt off. Why? Because they've been in enough fights where they've lost enough fights where they're just as close enough and somebody grabbed their shirt and pulled them to the ground. Yep. So that's why you see there's two things. They pull their shirt off and their shorts up. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how you know experienced street fighter. They're putting their hands as far as away. But the concept is they've taken their shirt off because they've been pulled down enough times. They're now pulling their shorts up because they understand that that's going to really, really have a lot to do with their mobility back, forth, up, down. There have been enough fights. So one, because they're short, so now a lot of times they're already here. So Max, if you put your gi pants here, they have to pull them up to get this. That's right. how important a wide stance is in a fight. That in a street fight, kids who have probably been in fights since they were six, the first thing they do is take their shirt off and pull their shorts up. Boom. 
Boom. So we think, okay, cool. If you're seeing that in every street fight, it's something, come here, that we gotta get great at. So when we talk about some of the basic grabs we have when we come in, we're grabbing cross collar. One of the first things you wanna get great at. When we talk about Muay Thai, we talk about MMA, I wanna get collar tap, collar tap wall, because I don't have anything really to grab. Now, I can actually grab here and pull down. When I get here, the same strength that I use on my collar tie here, now when I get this cross collar, I do that here. Oh, if you see, so that same move that I do here, boom, boom. Now I'm grabbing that cross collar, boom. Maybe that underhook, or oh, maybe a throw. And in a sense, but that yeah. cross collar is key. Why? Because if I get used to not coming here, you've got everything. Even those elbows are working Muay Thai, they're right there. They're right. ready to go. Does that make sense? So we have all stuff. So getting used to these grabs, getting used to this is what changes the game in a real self-defense situation. And that's why wearing the gi makes everything different, but more, like a self-defense situation. Does that make sense? Yeah. The ability to use your clothes or the ability to know what really happens when people start grabbing your, your control mechanism. So we talk about wrestling, come here. Wrestling, we have a wrist control, wrist control, collar tie, collar tie, under, under hook, over hook, over hook. Pretty basic, those are our control positions. Got it? Okay. Cool? Yeah. Now, in gi, in gi Jiu Jitsu, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everywhere that I can put a hand out, now I've got a new control position. That's what makes the gi so dynamic. That's why if you want to learn jujitsu, and a lot of guys want to do it with no gi, oh, we, you know, well, we don't wear a gi in a self-defense situation. Yes, you do. Unless you're fighting in the bedroom or at the beach, <laughs> they have some sort of gi material, something on that you're going to be able to use, yep. and you see it in every self-defense situation on a security camera or in real life. People are grabbing the shorts. They're grabbing stuff to stop people from advancing on that makes sense? Yes. Cool. So we get in here. Some of the basic things we're going to do is we're going to cross collar and our wrist control. What we just want to work on is really just how to manipulate and how to move around. So what you're going to do is, first thing you're going to do is probably grab what? You're going to grab here. All right. Go grab my arm. But you're going to try and manipulate that arm. So grab, no, grab the fabric. Okay. Yeah. So right there. So we're moving around. Boom. So, so now let's say you grab cross collar. You're probably going to go cross collar. So now we're in almost a neutral position. Does that make sense? This is a lot of time. Where it happens, right here. We're going right here, I'm pushing away, I'm pushing, I'm pulling, and this is where the export is so more, it's much more violent than regular gi work or a lot of other sports. I mean, even MMA, it's very violent, I don't get wrong, but well, I can get in here and take this and just use all that. So one of the rules is when you're here is, I cannot have my fingers in here. Why? It's illegal in competition. Now you can do it if you want. But the reason it's illegal in competition is because if I go here and you just say you just do a kung fu move to get oh, oh, oh no. fast as violently as you could, yeah. the fingers just start spinning. Again. Okay. Yeah. So that's why if I get in here, I want to keep my hands, fingers on the outside. I have traditional all right, pistol grip, I call, which I'll, I'll feed it through. And I'm here, pop, pop, all right? That's my favorite. All right? right here, you have the kung fu move when you get out. The pistol grip allows it to really pinch everything through. So if I get down here, now once I get here, my pistol grip, you know, let's say I'm on the ground. So now I'm going to use my feet to keep you away from me, but right here I'm steering. Does that make sense? And I'll steer, maybe I'll pull, pull this one, push this one, kick my feet all the way to the same, roll back, oh, oh, and right there. Yep. Now you're in that triangle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Without, but, so I'm here. I'm not even moving you. I'm still here. Right, I'm mean, I'm steering you here. Come on, what else do I have from down here? Wow, oh, I have that up kick, all right? And I can transfer over. Boom, and now I'm here. Oh, now I got a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get great if I'm in a self-defense situation. Yeah. And I'm on the ground, which might happen. I want to be able to roll somebody. I want to be able to manipulate the legs and take their legs out. But I want to be able to use my legs like my hands. Feel this? Yep. So I'm kind of just, ooh. I'm holding your leg, yep. and we do that grandy roll. Let's say you try and get around here. Let's say you try and circle around me. You try and get, yep. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> so we're here. Come in. So now you're trying to say you're trying to go this way. You're trying to get around. Keep, you're trying to get around. I gotta keep my legs between me and you, but I'm still grabbing. I'm never letting go. Right. I'm using the key. I'm using my legs here. Keep my legs. Even if you try and punch me, I have the opportunity to move your legs out. Right. Control your legs the whole time. That make sense? <laughs> yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. So that's the fundamentals of gi jiu jitsu. What else is illegal? Right? All right. Cool.
as far as like grabbing on you said yeah you're not supposed to put your fingers inside all right what else is illegal as far as what moves just grabbing on you can grab everything all right? okay so one of my favorites is is i'll come in if we're here and i'll start coming in boom boom here's we're pummeling here right i'm pulling this out pulling this out pulling this out and i'll come through here and right no no put your head up head up head up head up so here Right here? Yeah. So this right here, I can go here. Once I get here, hold on. What's one of my favorites? Boom, right there. Right? Okay, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff like that where I'm allowed to take your gi out on my, or if you with a salmon guard, wrap it around your neck and pull it. Oh. <sighs> I know. One guy tried it with his belt and even the ref was like, his other, his, the other guy's belt took his belt and started choking out of it. So that's the gi, the kimono. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I think it's the it, it, it's it's not just a uniform. It's not just hey we're putting on a uniform. It's a weapon. Right. And if you think of it like a weapon, you start looking at this key so much more different. You start really respecting. You start wanting to keep it clean. You realize why I tie my belt tighter than probably any other black belt that you're going to meet because I know I don't want my belt to come off. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. So slowly as we move through, you know the belt gets looser. The belt gets looser. This you'll see a lot of these guys, their belt just falls off during training. I don't want your belt to ever fall off during training. Um, gotcha. it, should never, it should just always be. And what happens is your belt falls off, and then your gi comes out. Now what? Come on. Put it tight. You're good, you're good. It's probably good back at it. That's it, you got it. Boom. First try. So now I'm here. How is this a command? So now we're fighting. How is this a huge advantage to you? Oh. Um, yeah, you've got now these handles, so hold your Gracie. In my opinion, hold your Gracie, probably one of the best, if not the best ever. He comes out, he's like six times he's tall. But he would come out here like this and bend over, and all he's trying to do, first of all, is trying to get boost. Boost. He's trying to get that gi out of the belt. That's all he's trying to do. That makes sense? So once he gets that, then he gets here, and then you'll see, then he's got these handles, he's got now two, he's got all kinds of stuff to just play and pull. He play right. called spider guard, and really uses long legs. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. All right. Cool. Question? Nothing. Nothing else? Uh, no. That's the last thing. Cool. Shh. We'll start um, with our, our basics, all right? Cool. Just getting that arm drag. This will help a lot because what I like about using the gi too is not only do you have something to grab, but it helps because it gives you, when I took all the arm drag, it's a, the arm drag is hard because you don't, you're just, okay, you use that ear, you know, when you come in, put your hand right here, boom. So right there, yeah. redirect. It's easy for me, right? So if you throw that jab, no, throw the jab slow. Throw the jab all the way, boom. There it is, boom, all right? Let's say we're in here, you grab my, boom, right here. I come in, boom, another arm drag, but it's all here. Now I get to go here. Now I get to grab here. I get to grab back here, and really, now I can really drag it through. All right? Right. So we'll go one for one just to get started. So basically, I'm going to come in. I'm going to grab here. You know what you're going to do? Kung Fu. Nope. It's over here. If you fight, switch your stance. You're going to do your Kung Fu move and grab my gi. Go. Boom. Good. Now you're going to pull it through and grab the back of my gi with your left hand. Right there, throw it right there, go. Boom, Usa, got it? Got it. Boom, let's drill it. 